Tanya and I love watching haul videos and I thought well let me Hi it's Tanya and I enjoy watching haul videos and I haven't managed to do any myself so I thought I'd seeing as I'm on a roll with doing process videos and the like I would do a haul. It's a fairly small one bits and bobs that I have got from local shops and one of my Coco Daisy project art kits finally arrived. It's would you believe the November one? So I figured I'd show you that first. Comes in this really cute muslin bag and they have that little saying on there go make art and this one comes with color bloom spray in gold which I'm super excited about. I'm hoping it's a nice bright gold. You know, I don't have I don't have Heidi Swap's Gold Lame, which everybody raves about. So yes, yeah, hoping this is this is going to be nice. So you get that, and as you can see, it came separate like that, and obviously you just stick it together. I have one other of these. It's a green one. So I have yet to really dabble into them to see if because for the life of me, I can't do those splatters. I try so hard with the splatters and I end up splattering everything except the page. So maybe those will be easier. Then there is this piece of tissue paper. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. You know, the really weird thing is I am pretty damn useless at mixed media. I'm going to try and get better at it. But I do love to buy mixed media stuff. So that's why I subscribed to Coco Daisy to their project art and but I have subsequently stopped because as you can see I only got the November one now I still have my December art standing and I have no guarantee that I'm going to get them so I didn't want to waste money continuing so I did stop there but it comes with this really cute little stamp it's I don't know what they are they're it's just a just a shape. And then these, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these, these are glass glitter, gold and sterling. I was, I've never tried glass glitter before so a little, little scared I have to say. I'm wondering if I'm going to cut myself. But uh, looks really pretty so I'll give it a try. So that was my Coco Daisy kit for November. Then locally I bought a really nice wide brush. And I'm going to blame Vilna Furstenberg for that because when she does her gelatos she always uses this lovely big thick brush and it seems to work beautifully so I'm going to give that a go. And then these two are liquid acrylic inks. Isn't that just the most stunning colour? I thought that would work really well with the hot pinks and the January hip kit. And then there's just a black one. It's like I think it's very similar to those Isings that we got. You see it's got a dropper. So pretty. So I'll give that a try. And I managed to pick up some My Mind's Eye. It's the Just Saying collection by Rona Farah. I don't know if this is new or old. I suspect it's probably reasonably old. We don't get a lot of the very very current stuff here. But uh, these look pretty so I am going to give them a go. I am. Oh, we can try. Let's see. Are they pretty? I have no idea how pretty they were when I, when I bought them. I just figured, hey, there's something here I'm going to try. Well, not that you can probably see much of this. Okay, let's move that out of the way. You can see I was testing out the ink. Uh, okay, well, that one is, uh, yeah, I like those, those are super pretty. Uh, that out the way. Okay. And then I got these, and you get oh, see, four in a pack. What is they all the same? Oh, no, they're all different. 
Oh, those are super cute. Really pretty. Wow. They smell weird, but they're really pretty. So, it'll be fun to use those. And then I figured I might try my hand at these little, what are they? Sponge daubers? No. Stop getting dirty hands. And, oh look, more mixed media stuff. I don't, well, I, I'm pretty sure I have light gesso. Not really sure what heavy gesso is, but I'm going to give it a try. And it's white, so, you know. We're going to try that. And along with that are two stencils. This is a Heidi Swap one. I think I'm going to enjoy stencils more in the 12 by 12 size because then you could, I don't know, I, I find it a little difficult when they're tiny stencils. And But then again, as I said, I'm not exactly the past master at mixed media. And then I have a Kesa Craft one. Yeah, shout out to the Australian people. Yay! That's quite pretty. So, going to try that. And I did get myself... This is a... I'm assuming this is a local... Local brand. Lanita's Craft Sheet. Because it was like half the price of the Ranger or the other ones. So, it's definitely local. But... I had a look and it feels as much the same as all the others, so don't see why I should pay a fortune when I can get, okay, it's probably not as big as the Ranger one, but hey, that'll work. My other one is looking very sad and I cut on it inadvertently, so, so that should be fun. And then last, by no means least, I got this from the Jubilee line, My Mind's Eye. I know the ephemera pack is coming in the March hip kit, so I figured I would add that to it. Not that I actually need to add any more embellishment to those kits, there's always a ton in there. But it's pretty, it's cute. Look, you've got uh, that one. I'm still trying to work out what it says. One, one of a, one of a kind? Ha, huh, might be one of a kind. And live your life, follow your dreams, cute scooter. So yeah. So that is my first ever haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.